Hi, my name is James Dean, Realtor with Royal LePage here in Oakville. Are you thinking of buying a home but are unsure of the process? Today I want to talk to you about the experience of one of my clients who recently bought a townhouse here in Oakville. Now while their experience may not be exactly the same as yours, you can look at this video and the related blog as a kind of how to buy a home guide. This client is a young couple with a child in school in Oakville. English is not their first language, so I extensively helped them on every step of the real estate process. We looked at both detached homes and townhouses in the school's area. Now, fortunately, this area is new and popular and will remain so for some time into the future. I sent them a list of 20 active properties and reviewed four of them close to the school. They decided on a townhouse they liked within about two weeks of the start of our search and we decided and they decided to put in an offer to purchase. The offer consists of a number of legal documents, primarily the agreement of purchase and sale. Now this legal document lays out all of the details of the purchase. Primarily the price and closing date are the main negotiating points. Negotiations with the seller went back and forth over a week, mainly on price. Closing date also became an issue later. Uh, once we did agree on all the details, uh, my buyer delivered a 5% deposit. And then over the next five days, we sent out to examine three main issues that the buyer was worried about when negotiating and that we included as conditional clauses in the agreement of purchase and sale. First, they wanted their lawyer to examine the deal. Now lawyers always come in at the end, at the final on the closing day, to handle all the paperwork and the actual transaction, uh, changing the money. Uh, but in this case there were international issues and they wanted the lawyer to look at the process early. Second, they wanted to confirm financing. Now money was coming in from overseas and they needed to be sure of timing, regulations, currency exchange, things like that. Now in the more usual case of uh, mortgage financing would be the lender, for example a bank, who would uh, give the final approval on the mortgage. Third, we had a building inspector thoroughly examine the property and the house to see if there were any problems such as leaks or needed repairs. Uh, for this buyer, I gave them a list of three different high quality local inspectors in the Oakville area and they chose the one that they felt most comfortable with. Now also for you, um, if you are not even in the market right now but are need some kind of uh, local tradespeople to help you out with your current home, please give me a call and I'll give you my uh, recommendations. Uh, once we cleared all the three conditions, everything was fine, um, the deal became firm. We signed the legal waivers and the agreement was finalized. Now at this point, my buyers were legally responsible to buy the home and the seller was legally responsible to transfer ownership on the closing date. Compared to other markets around the world, Ontario system is very safe, very secure, and you can be certain that the sale will proceed smoothly. In this case, the house was vacant and my buyers were renting, so they could do a very quick closing in one month time after the agreement uh, was firmed up. That one month later, it's called the closing date, also called the completion date or possession date, uh, is when the both lawyers, both buyers and sellers lawyers get together and they make the arrangements for the actual transaction, uh, changing of the key, changing of the money, working out like that. Uh, now the busy, biggest expense that most buyers don't really plan on is the Ontario land transfer tax. Um, it's calculated based on selling price. If you go to my blog, you'll see a link to a calculator. Uh, can be quite high, so do keep that in mind. Now once the uh, home was legally my buyers, they got it ready. Uh, a locksmith came in and rekeyed all of the outside locks. There were three of them for about $150. Carpets cleaned the broadloom for about $250. And we had a handyman come in to wash the windows, clean the windows inside and out, even in winter time. This guy works. Uh, he also cleaned the whole inside of the house for about $500. Now, as my clients are settling into their new home, we can look back and review their experience. From start to finish, it took a very fast 
two and a half months until they actually fully moved into their new home. Typical time frame is more like six months or so. Uh, two or three months to find the place and two or three months to close on it. Uh, so if you want to be in your new home before the start of the school year, you really should be looking no later than February. And for the total cost to get them into their home was the 5% deposit, which they paid on the acceptance of the offer when everything became firm, uh, on the acceptance of the offer, about $15,000 of expenses around closing day, you know, for the washing, the clean, the washing of the windows, cleaning, and that Ontario land transfer tax, and of course the balance of the purchase price they paid on closing day. I am a full service realtor who takes time to assist my clients on every step of the real estate process. Call me today to, ta to find out how I can help you get into your dream home quickly and smoothly. This is James Dean, your number one choice for real estate in Oakville.